Okay, um, well, it is uh, that time again. Um, thanks for, for joining us for the, the first uh, History Chats for 2021. Um, and we have some, some interesting stuff coming up um, for you as part of these History Chats uh, coming up this year. Starting with a, a month here of winter sports. Um, so we're gonna be talking about a bunch of winter sports over the next month, but we're gonna start here with hockey. Um, so with this, I'm gonna have Gary uh, join us. Gary Gissman, our, our librarian um, here at the Marathon, Historical Society, Marathon County Historical Society, uh, will be joining us to talk about the, um, the history of hockey. Well, thank you very much, Ben, uh, good, and good afternoon. So today we're going to uh, start a little bit about um, our, our, our history of hockey in this, in this city. Uh, it goes back uh, over a hundred years, but I, what we want to try to do today is to show you a little bit about some of the early history. The history of hockey goes back, like I say, over a hundred years. And it starts, you know, this is sort of a little montage of what hockey um, has been in this city, uh, starting out with any, uh, starting out in fields, flooded rinks, um, moving then on to uh, pretty primitive hockey rinks in the city, uh, eventually some high school sports, um, and then eventually what we have today is the, uh, uh, the Wisconsin River Wolves here in Wassa at, at the uh, Ice Arena. So there's a lot of different stories here, but I want to say, give credit before I go much further. Uh, with regard to the Wassa Vets and Early History of Wassa Hockey, a book written by Mike Cohen and Scott Hovden. Uh, Mike Cohen is a, a Wisconsin hockey historian. Scott Hovden is a local uh, Scott um, local hockey player, heavily involved with the uh, the local hockey scene for many years and. And they really did the yeoman's work with regard to what the history of this of this sport has meant to the city. And and I, uh, no way can I repeat, but I have to still give them the the great credit for uh, for for this history of uh, Wasa hockey. Like I said before, in the early days, this was pretty much how we were playing hockey. No hockey boards. Uh, people would either pl be playing hockey in the Wisconsin River, or they would flood a, a flood an acre somewhere and, and start playing hockey. Because we we do know that they started very early. We do not know. Uh, maybe uh, other people know when we first put on a pair of skates in the city and started to play hockey. We really don't know that story, but it does go back. Uh, for variety, and our history does show that it is really a great, a great sport that has taken up a lot of, uh, a lot of interest throughout the years. And um, a couple of pictures of some venues. This is when we speak about Yawkey Park or Recreation Park, now Athletic Park. Uh, this is one of the first venues of, of Wasa Hockey. Uh, there was a hockey in the outfield. And you can see the great, the, uh, the attendance, the hockey boards, uh, the, the building in the distance is across the third street. Um, this was most likely done before the, gra uh, the granite walls were uh, put around Athletic Park. Now we just si see the sign boards and the hockey boards being up. The other place that was quite popular with regard to um, Wasa hockey was a piece of ice on the Wisconsin River or Lake Wasa below Rockchild Pavilion. This was another very popular venue that we have used throughout uh, in the early days of our in the early days of our hockey history. And today, of course, we have ice arenas uh, in Marathon Park that played to the uh, uh, Wisconsin River Wolves. Uh, and a variety of other teams that, hockey teams that still are very popular uh, in, in this city. 
But what I want to start off with is 1907. This is really the early, an early part of what I think is our early history of hockey. Um, a little bit of a note in the paper, 1907. Uh, oh, by the way, it says base, the baseball committee is uh, thinking about having a hockey and curling is coming. So we were thinking about this, and this may have been early, but this is an early, one of the earlier mentions that I can find of hockey um, in, the, in this city. And of course, throughout in the early days, um, we have um, advertisements for hockey, for hockey skates. Uh, Hall's Garage on Clinton Street was advertising for uh, Christmas gifts for the boy as hockey skates. Ice skating was starting to come. Uh, 1916, ice skating free for all at Yawkey Park. Yawkey Park was an early name for uh, at what we now know as Athletic Park. It was also called Recreation Park at one time, Yawkey Park. Um, and we think, you know, when I saw this, I think, well, Frank must have just decided to flood over some parts of Yawkey Park and, and, start, and start hockey. He's charging on mission for skating, and he's also saying that uh, there will be hockey. So, um, you know, that this is also being played here at Yawkey Park pretty much just as a, as a non-team non sport, but just sort of as a recreational uh, sport that people were doing in 1917. They evidently came together, um, make up teams, most likely that's the way uh, hockey was being played in the early years. And then this is, and then, and then I saw this article, I saw this in the newspaper about a young person, dear Santa, please send me some hockey skates uh, and a sharp pencil. So uh, this was on the minds of a lot of young people in the mid 20s. Things changed. The 1920s changed a lot. The war evident in this city changed uh, a lot of thinking and the culture of this city really did change after, after the war. And we can see now the, the sports in this city are starting to take a little bit more advanced planning. Because in 1924, the local YMCA is saying, uh, you know, thinking about hockey, the city itself is encouraging the growth of interest in such things, uh, recreation park and other parts of the city where the grounds are being flooded to permit ice sports without the possible danger that they may exist skating in the river. So at this time, we were thinking about getting young people off of the river, whether it be swimming or, or skating. So the, the issue of, uh, of playing hockey was already starting to take place in, in great effort in the, in the early 1920s. And then eventually in January, um, things started to um, materialize a little bit more. Uh, January 8th, I think that date is 1926. Um, Mr. Benton, and this is the name that you'll be seeing, uh, J.K. Benton, uh, an early organizer of organized hockey in this city. His name doesn't come up very much, but it's a name that we should become quite familiar with as a key, key player in uh, in the growth and the organization of of hockey in this city, um, so the he was calling everybody to to get organized, and that they would be playing the sport on uh, um, on on a on a rink opposite Curtis and Yale. That's so, that's also where he was having his office. Um, on, on South First Avenue, but it was Mr. Benton who was a key player in organizing the, some of the early organized hockey clubs in this city. Mr. Benton was a, um, an attorney. He ran for district attorney September of 1926, um, but it was him who 
uh, it was Mr. Benton who really was a key ingredient, like I said, in organ getting the organ organization of Wassa hockey uh, to begin with in the middle of the 1920s. And just a little note on Mr. Benton when he uh, when he died, he did he did not die in Wassa. He but there was a note that he was a Harvard Law School graduate, came here, a uh, great sense of humor. Um, and again, I think he is one of the players in this city that really was a key ingredient to the early history of hockey. And then Mr. Met Mr. Benton went on in 1929 to start to supervise play for older and grade school boys. And this is important because this is was in the winter frolics era, so that uh, not only did the adults or even uh, have a key hockey part of winter frolics, but Mr. Benton was also involving older and grade school boys in, in the sport of hockey uh, during the winter frolics. To see their schedule was, uh, was quite an impressive feat feet during this time. And again, we, we come back to Mr. Benton as a key player in that, in that endeavor uh, of young people during the winter frolics. And another person that we want to mention is M.C. Cress, 1925. Um, he was the president of the Wassa Hockey Club. Uh, so in addition to Mr. Uh, Benton, we have Mr. Kress, um, and Mr. Kress, you can see him on the far left here as, as the um, not only coach, manager, he was a key player in, in, the, in the organization and in the playing really of, of the Wausau Hockey Club. Uh, this, this was written, um, this was, a history article in, I believe, 1985 in the Wausau paper, and it talks a little bit about some of the key players that were involved in the early Wausau club, John Seb Sebastian, um, the Walter, the Ray Walters and his brothers uh, were he heavily involved with uh, the Wausau hockey club. Uh, and John Cress, is, on this picture, he is on the far right. Um, so again, uh, you know, we see the, the, the early history, the early development of Wausau hockey. But eventually in the 1930s, uh, the, the enthusiasm for Wausau hockey moved to the high school. Uh, 1930, the, um, the Wausau High School Hockey Club was a uh, hockey team really, was established. This is pretty. This is it. Um, uh, and the players, as well as not only now you see Mr. Cress again on the top right, and a person that I want to talk a little bit about, um, Mr. Ben Berg on the uh, left corner. Um, ben Berg uh, initiated the the Wassa High School Hockey Club uh, or team. Uh, he came from Norway, uh, came with his family from Norway in 1906, eventually graduating for Ripon College in 1923 after serving in France during World War I. Um, taught hockey for five years, um, but it was Ben Berg who really was the initiator of, of starting the, the hockey team here at the Wassa High School. Again, we see, I just wanted to mention Mr. Kress, again, Milton, Milton Kress, uh, as part of that picture, he was a coach. Um, so he was heavily involved, not only with the Wassa uh, adult team, but he was also heavily involved with the Wassa high school team. Uh, born in Canada, local, he was a local optometrist, uh, died in 1962 in Merrill. So, um, so this, so this is there, the Wassa High School venue, 1930. Uh, it may be hard to recognize, but this is 
when we talk about the ice rink on First Avenue across from Curtis and Yale. Um, this is it. Uh, I guess made people make reference to that. This is the um, the lot that the Pizza Hut was at one time on First Avenue. This was their venue. This is where the Wasa High School uh, had their hockey games. Then eventually another person at coming to what the Wasa High School was William Maxwell, born in 1893. Uh, joined the Wausau High School faculty in 1919, set up the commercial department, but it was Mr. Maxwell who took over the team from uh, Ben Berg and it was in, he took it over in 1936. And it was the beginning of uh, really some not, uh, some victorious years for the Wausau High School hockey team. They went undefeated in their conference um, and, uh, um, and they were, I think, went on for, for quite a while. Um, and this is their team in 19, uh, they, they, they won consecutive uh, years until they had to uh, discontinue their uh, team sport of the hockey um, league at, during World War II. Here we have the the uh, one of the more winning teams with Mr. Maxwell in the center. Um, this is the, the high school team. Um, I should back up as part of this picture. Uh, some flurries are a part of this and uh, the flurries were a big part of adult um, hockey teams um, throughout the years. Mr. Uh, Cohen book uh, talks a little bit about that, uh, uh, their history with regard to uh, Wasa hockey. Just another, so uh, again, we see the Wasa hockey team, Mr. Kress, and uh, their, their strong involvement with this uh, hockey history um, from the, specifically from the 1920s. And of course, today I want to just conclude with the, the Wasa River Wolves. Today we have uh, this team uh, in, the, in the Wasa Ice Arena continuing the, the, uh, the history, the continuing history of the sport of hockey in this city coming on more than 100 years of hockey. And it now recently developed into, into, this, uh, into this team uh, playing hockey in this city, continuing the great history of hockey uh, that we have seen throughout the many years. So with that, I uh, conclude the um, I conclude the uh, the program. Um, uh, it's a fascinating history. A lot of people that we didn't hear about in the in the past, but I think that we not. Um, um, it's a, it's a great history and it's a great part of what we've been throughout the years.